Welcome in this video, and here we are going to look at what we call quartiles. In statistics too, we can modify the median formula to have what we call quartiles. Well, I had mentioned earlier in our previous videos that the median is the most complicated formula in statistics or in the introductory statistics. Although we are going to find other formulae involving the median in our preceding videos in statistics. But in this one, let's talk about what we call the quartiles. Well, what are quartiles? Now, if you think of the median, the median has a formula in which we find the middle of a given data. We can also find the first quarter or the half, the quote, the half of the first half. What do we mean when you talk about that? So, lower quartile or Q1 can be given as follows. So let me have this as four first. This is four, lower quartile. So the lower quartile is obtained using this formula. L plus N over four minus C divided by F multiplied by I. So all the other values like L, F, C and I remain to be the same. What changes is which is uh, the class that you're going to use to obtain Q1 and that is going to be n over 4. Remember in the median formula this part was n over 2 and now we have it as n over 4. That means you're going to obtain the first quarter of the uh, of your given data and we call it in mathematics as lower quartile or sometimes it is represented by Q1. Now, how do you obtain Q uh, or how do you obtain C, the L, the class that you're going to use? That one will be done in our next video where we are going to explain which class do you choose as the Q1 class. Now, in the, in the middle quartile, that is Q2, you notice that this formula is exactly the same as the formula for finding the median of a given data. So, the median of a given data is given as L plus n over 2 minus c divided by f multiplied by i and uh, it remains to be the median. So it means that q2 or the middle quartile is known as the median. So the formula for median is what we call q2. Now you also have what we call the upper quartile. The upper quartile which can be given as now the third quarter or the upper quarter. That's going to be calculated the frequency, total frequency we are going to multiply it by uh, 3 over 4. The moment we multiply it by 3 over 4, then we have the upper quartile. For example, if you have, a, uh, if you have 100 uh, units or if you have 100 objects, then the uh, Q1 is going to be um, 1 over 4 of that and 1 over 4 is 25, I believe. Q2 is going to be half of that. If you have 100 objects, half of them is 50. And now, if you have Q3 or you want to find the upper quartile, then you're going to work out th three quarters of 100 and going to be 75. So this value here is going to be 75. And you're going to use that 75 together with the cumulative frequency of that data to, to locate the Q3 class. Also, we can also talk about, apart from quartiles, we can also talk about what we call percentiles. So what are percentiles? And uh, let me just have these as percentiles without numbers to differentiate them from quartiles. Now, percentiles, we compare a data. Remember, for quartiles, we compare a data using a fraction, that is one. We can also compare the same data using a hundred. Percentage. Remember, remember, the maximum percentage is 100 and the minimum percentage is 0%. And therefore, we modify the median formula, but whenever we have, um, uh, whenever we have, uh, we want to calculate, say, the 20th percentile, then this, this uh, number here, hash, is going to represent a number. That number could be 20%, 30%, 40%, 35%, or any number. So, for instance, if you want to work out the 20th percentile, that's going to be 20 over 100 multiplied by n, where n is the total frequency. Now, apart from percentiles, we could also talk about the decimals. Now, decimals, from, from mathematics, you know deca means 10, or dec means 10, and therefore we are going to compare a given data using uh, the maximum value as 10. And therefore, we notice L 
plus hash over uh, 10 multiplied by n minus c divided by f multiplied by i is going to be a formula when you want to work out decimals. So decimals, it means this hash number here could be a number between 1 and 10. Could be 1 over 10, could be 2 over 10, 3 over 10, 8 over 10, and so on. So that's how we work out decimals. So generally, we can modify the median formula to work out various problems involving um, either quartiles, percentiles, or decimals. In our next video, we are going to do an example where we apply all these values or all these formulae, uh, the quartiles, the percentiles, and uh, the decimals. That's how we do it. Please remember to share, uh, comment, like, and also subscribe.